and do a little video on nitrogen. Trailer with a pump, how to unload and load. So loading, you'll pull up and uh, you got two deals you'll hook up to your main, main unload going into the tank. You'll open that valve up right here. Then you'll hook up your sample over here for a liquid sample. So if they think you just screw it on there hand tight and then open up your sample line. And then you'll make sure your road valve shut because that'll bypass anything over 17 pounds or whatever. When you're loading, you got to have somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds on on your pressure gauge to sample, get a proper sample. Of course, you never want to unload all the way empty because then your trailer will get hot up there. So, uh, when you're unloading, you'll come over here and you'll open up your main line, add to your tank, open that one up, going into your pump. So that'll feed down here into your pump. And then you go up on your pressure side and follow it around to the pump recirculation. And you'll open your pump recirc up. And uh, I like to put pressure behind my pump, so I'll open up my pressure builder. And then uh, you hook up your main line when you're once every once you get your pump cooling down take about 15 20 minutes to get your pump cooled down but it'll be iced over kind of like that back there going to your vent and uh, so you wait for your pump to cool down ice over and then you can go in your box here and fire up your pump start it out at an idle and then over here follow it down Got your pony motor over here you got a nice little bungee or a rope and there's a clutch handle over here you got to grab to engage that clutch in the back side of this transmission to run your drive line down here so once your pump's running you'll kick that in that'll get your pump spinning then you come back around you open up your discharge open up your main discharge and then you'll shut your pump recirculation and then you'll be totally pressuring off That's how that goes. You'll be unloading, and then when you're done, you kick your pump out, shut your, or open your research before you shut your discharge so you got somewhere to go with your fluid. And then when I unhook everything, I shut my main valve, and I shut my research, and I leave my discharge open because if you, if you totally isolate that pump off, you shut your discharge, shut your research, you shut your fill, that nitrogen in there's got nowhere to go and it'll build you know 400 500 pounds of pressure really fast so you don't want to do that you'll blow your pump up so always leave something open whether it's your recirc if you're shutting your discharge leave your recirc open if you're shutting your recirc and your discharge open your open your main valve just make sure that you're not isolating that pressure in there and then before you take off again you'll bleed your pressure down around 10 pounds and open your road valve up go like hell boys if you need anything else give me a like subscribe shoot me a comment and I'll answer your questions. You guys have a great day. Hope I helped you out.